good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship. Um, today is a very special day at, here at 3740 East Sierra Madre Boulevard. Um, we, Trinity Presbyterian Church, are celebrating our 75th anniversary of the chartering of Trinity Presbyterian Church. Um, and Hastings Ranch Nursery School is celebrating their 70th anniversary. And I'm also told that we're celebrating my 25th anniversary as the pastor of this congregation. I cannot believe it has been 25 years. So welcome, everyone. Um, to those of you who are first-time visitors here, um, to those of you who are returning for um, the first time to be with us on this special occasion in many numbers of years, um, I'd also like to offer a special welcome to our guest preacher this morning, who <laughs> just happens to be my husband, Rob Grohl, and the members of the Presbyterian Church, his congregation, who are joining us this morning. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, as we begin, I just have a couple of housekeeping announcements. Um, at the end of the service, um, I ask everybody to please exit through these two south doors to the patio, and then we will enter through the fellowship hall door where you will um, go through that way and, and meal will be served um, in the fellowship hall. Um, there are tables both inside and outside, um, and there are also folk who will be there bringing picnic blankets on the lawn. Um, Let's see, uh, I think that's it. We are serving over 300 people for lunch today, so um, if you have not RSVP for lunch, please go to the back of the line um, and make sure that those who have RSVP for lunch are served first. Um, I will offer a blessing for lunch before we exit the sanctuary. And finally, I would like to offer a very Special thank you to Emily Parker. I know it's printed in the bulletin, but Emily designed and created the beautiful communion set that is on the table this morning for this occasion. Um, the chalice and the pitcher and the plate are absolutely stunning, and um, they will be in use here at the church for many, many years to come. Thank you, Emily. With that, I believe Monica has something that she wanted to say. <laughs> um, in honor of Cindy's 25th anniversary, it's really nice to see so many familiar faces here, and I'm so glad you're here to help us celebrate her. Um, it's been 25, I mean, I've been here the whole time. <laughs> and, um, and it's hard to believe, right? You stuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway. Obviously, your leadership, but your friendships to all, each and every one of us, and how you are so dedicated to the life of this church is tremendously appreciated. I think we can all agree. So, we have a lovely gift for you that we would like you to open. <laughs> Responsive call to worship. We have come to 
together in celebration for the years that we have been together as the people of God in praise and worship and service. Let us thank God for blessings received for those whose vision has led them to start a congregation in this place. We give thanks and celebrate. For those who through the years, by their work and witness, have shown themselves to be the people of God. We give thanks and celebrate. For the ministries that have flourished here in the name of Jesus Christ. We give thanks and celebrate. For the children and young people whose lives have been shaped in part by the work of this church. We give thanks and celebrate. For the clergy that have served here over the years and for the people they have served. We give thanks and celebrate. For the visitors that have passed through these doors, for the welcome they have received. We give thanks and celebrate. For the warmth of community and the loving support it affords. We give thanks and celebrate. For the spiritual strength of the members, for the tangible presence of Christ in their lives, and for God's true gift of grace. We give thanks and celebrate. Praise and wonderful Lord. Let us join together singing hymn number 430.
Our first scripture lesson today is Psalm 100. All lands are summoned to praise God. It is a psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Amen. <laughs>
our gospel lesson today is from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. <coughs> the risen Christ bids farewell to his disciples, promising to be with them until the end of the world, blessing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and sending them out into the whole world. To hear the word. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit and teaching them everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Amen. And let us pray. May be thy word that is spoken, and thy word that is heard, O Lord, for Jesus' sake. Amen. The risen Christ walks with his disciples, talking with them. This is his last conversation with them in the Gospel of Matthew. These are Christ's last words, his final exhortation. And what does Christ say to his disciples? Go into all the world, make disciples, baptizing them, teaching them everything I have commanded you. And I am with you always, until the end of the world. This has been called the Great Commission. Jesus is sending his followers out into all the world. Go, he commands them. And he promises them, as they go, that he is with you until the end of time. It's comforting for us to know that as we go in his name, Jesus goes with us. Which part of this great commission do you most know? Jesus tells us that he will be with us, and that's a great comfort to the church. But Jesus doesn't only promise us presence, but he also makes a command. Go. Jesus is on the move. Soon he will ascend to his Father. Of course, Jesus is always on the move in the Gospels. That's how he is presented, as a wayfaring, constantly in motion traveler. Matthew tells about many an episode when Jesus speaks, teaches, and then immediately moves on to somewhere else. You can almost see the disciples tagging along behind Jesus, breathlessly trying to keep up with him. Jesus is on the move, and we can't follow him without moving too. During the fall 1983, shortly after Cindy and I were married, while we were still living in Princeton, we drove from New Jersey to Hamilton, Ontario via Buffalo for a family wedding. It was a gloomy, overcast day as we drove along, spitting sleet and ice, and of course, of course to cross over the border into Ontario we had to drive past a complex of oil refineries in the Buffalo suburb of Tonawanda, which made the area smell acrid and foul. And I turned to Cindy and said, this is one of the armpits of the world. <laughs> I can't imagine who would want to live here. And in that very moment, God chuckled. <laughs> And God thought, you have no idea what I have in store for you in the near future, do you? 
Guess where you're going? <laughs> Just six months later, the good folk of North Presbyterian Church in the Buffalo suburb of Williamsville called us to serve as co-assistant pastors right along the road that we had driven that day. <laughs> and God surely must have laughed again. That was 40 years ago. And God is still laughing. We landed in a place along a path we could never have imagined. And it turned out to be a gift that we never expected. Buffalo turned out to be a beautiful city. The church was a marvelous call, and it put us less than an hour's drive away from my beloved grandparents for the last years of their lives. Fifteen years later, we were home from our summer vacation at our family cottage in Ontario, Canada. Uh, we regularly read the Presbyterian Outlook each month, and one of the things that we loved to read was the opportunities list showing openings in the denomination, mostly for amusement, not job seeking. Uh, one of my favorites over the year read, Imperfect Church Seeks Imperfect Pastor That Grace May Abound. <laughs> I would have loved to meet that church, but it was not the right time for us. This particular day, it was Cindy who got the magazine out first. She was reading through it and finally got to the page for church openings. She had no plans on moving. But there was an ad that caught her attention. I was sitting there next to her on the porch. As she kept reading, she kept saying, I do that. I can do that. I love that. Then she went to the web page for more information about the position. Uh, it was 1997, and they had a web page? <laughs> wow. It had Mike Rafina listed as one of the references. Now we knew Mike. He had served as interim pastor for the church where I grew up. He was friends with my parents. So Cindy called him to ask about the church and the position. Mike said, call Jack or as well. <laughs> and see if they're still accepting invitations. You will never regret it. And in that very moment, I chuckled and thought, you have no idea what I have in store for you in the near future, do you? Guess where you're going? And once again, God and Trinity Presbyterian Church put us in, on the move. And that's why we're all gathered here today to celebrate 75 years as Trinity Presbyterian Church and how appropriate to celebrate this anniversary on Trinity Sunday, and 70 years for Hastings Ranch Nursery School, and also Cindy's 25th anniversary as pastor here. Been a lot of anniversaries today. <laughs> Just last Sunday, it was our 40th anniversary. We celebrate these anniversaries for two reasons, to celebrate the past and also to look forward to the future. You are not done here. You have yet much to do to be faithful. So how do the Gospels depict Jesus? Full of action, energy, always on the move, moving into rather than out of the world, moving closer ever closer to his fate in Jerusalem. Jesus seems to court trouble, to cause conflict rather than bring peace and serenity. Remember the story that we read on Easter 
The women came out to the tomb while it was still dark. They are greeted there by a messenger in white. What does the angel say to them? You are looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he's not here. He is risen. Then the angel said, He has gone to Galilee before you. Go. How typical of Christ. Christ is raised, but he does not stay at the cemetery. He's on the move. Now, in this Trinity Sunday Gospel, Christ continues to be on the move. The angel at Easter said to them, not only he has gone to Galilee, but also there you will meet him. Presumably, if they refuse to go out to Galilee and stay fixed and secure right where they are, they won't meet him. The risen Christ first commands us to go. And then he promises that he will stick with us, even if we go to the end of the earth. The risen Christ is going. And he commands us to go with him. And here's my point. We can't be with Jesus if we don't go with Jesus. This congregation has been faithful to God for 75 years. The nursery school has been faithful for 70 years. God is not done with you. Guess where you're going next? Amen. Now the tune for the hymn is 544 in the hymnal, but the words for the hymn are printed in the bulletin. Are there joys or concerns that you would care to lift up in prayer? Kate. I'm sure I, I speak for the whole congregation. Just joy for this church, for Trinity. You've been our family home for decades. God in your mercy. Hear our prayers. For others. Larry. Yeah, for Lauren Anderson. 
one of my one of my ball players he's in the hospital he's from eye from eye trouble <coughs> prayers of healing God in your mercy Prayers for my daughter on Bernie who's facing serious health problems and perhaps surgery. Prayers of healing for Bernie. God in your mercy. Here are our prayers. Tom? Um, uh, we have an upcoming family celebration that's quite special. Kate's mother is turning 95. And one of her favorite places in all the world is Hanlei in on the island of Hawaii. And 22 of her gene pool will be with her. <laughs> but she's very anxious about the travel, so she needs calm. She's got lots of good people surrounding her. <laughs> Praise the celebration. God in your mercy. Yeah. Wrong. Um, Prayers for Kathy Barrows, our clerk of session at Trinity, or at Village. Um, she is not doing well and I had hoped to be here today. Um, prayers for healing for her. Prayers for Kathy Barrows. God in your mercy. Yeah. Others? Wendy. Prayers of thanksgiving for the ministry of Cindy Kroll and Rob Kroll and Trinity and Village. God in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Barbie. Prayers of gratitude for Cindy running our church for 25 years and <laughs> keeping us all together and just running a beautiful show. Thank you. Thank you. God in your mercy. Hear our prayers. Let us continue in prayer. God of the ages, as we, your church, here, Trinity Presbyterian Church of Pasadena, California. Celebrate our 75th anniversary, we thank you. We praise you for all the joy we have known in this church, and we pray for all those who through the years have made up this community of saints, united in mission, ministry, service, and friendship. We thank you for all who have served as trustees, elders, and deacons. The Sunday school teachers, volunteers on committees, those who have given their time and talents repairing sprinklers, planting flowers, raking leaves, dealing with contractors. For all the people who have praised God in music and song, for our choir, all the pageants, cantatas, anthems rehearsed, presented, and enjoyed. For those who have prepared and served communion, for ushers and greeters and liturgists. For all of the scouts and community groups who've held meetings within our walls. For all the potlucks and parties and celebrations. For weddings and baptisms. For births and deaths. For all who have served as pastors, secretaries, bookkeepers, music directors, custodians. For all who have maintained the fabric of this church. For all of the varied and various ways we have reached out in your name. We pray, pray for all our partners in mission and ministry and the people who have been served. We give you thanks for the Hastings Ranch Nursery School celebrating their 70th anniversary and all of their teachers and the parents and for the thousands of children whose laughter and tears have blessed this corner. And we ask your continued blessing on CAPS the Community Assistance Program for Seniors, that they may continue to care for seniors for years to come. God, the blessings are infinite and our thanksgiving is immense. As we move into the future, may we continue to pass on our faith, hope, and love to succeeding generations in new and creative ways with commitment, vision, and enthusiasm. And in this place, in this church, at this school, May there always be found comfort for those who sorrow, strength for the anxious, compassion and healing for those who are sick, and concern and love for all God's children. And may we who this day remember and celebrate our past and our constant walk with you go forward into our future in hope and joy. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into 
temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for us. As we have been richly blessed, let us return our thanks to God by giving the gifts of our tithes and offerings.
together. Loving God, use these years to be set before you today to do more than we can believe or imagine. Build a little justice in your heart. Let the Lord of the Grace of God who created you, Christ Jesus who redeemed you, and the Holy Spirit who sustains you, be with and abide with you always. And I and all God's children say, Hallelujah. Amen. And let me just offer the blessing for our luncheon. Gracious and loving God, we ask your blessing on the food that we are about to enjoy together and upon the celebrations that are about to take place. Be with us all as we continue this wonderful anniversary celebration. Amen. Amen. <laughs>